Hello everybody, I am Mold at West, and this is Grime once again. We have found a place called Child Bed, and that's all I really know about this place. It is a place called Child Bed, and that's the, that's the information I have. I'm working with the same information that you are. So, ow. This dude with the whippy neck is really annoying, which is why he deserves to get eight. So now that I've killed you and taken that broken husk, let's see what's up here. Okay, this is just a way of getting back to where I dropped out from. Good to know, good to know. Not gonna go back, back up there because that ain't the kind of guy I am. I go down. That's the kind of guy I am. Okay. So you're a pulley man that I can dip. Wait just a fat little second. There's a checkpoint over here. Alright then. Got ourselves a cozy little monolith to snuggle up inside of. Now let's see what's over here. Hole go down. Hole go very down. A painful amount of down that I can't go dropping down because that's just rude. And what have we here? It's a thing I'm never gonna use. And don't you go try to explode on me. That's annoying. And, alright, snaky neck guy. Fantastic. Did you just launch pebbles at me? That's not the sort of behavior that goes tolerated around here, mister. Now, there you go. You get eaten because you are a dick. And I eat all of the dicks. So now... I ain't too clear on where I need to go because I don't remember this area all that well. I don't even remember if I went through this area when I played through the game on my own. I might have and just don't remember. But then again, I think I'd remember a place called Child Bed. Now, what's... Okay, you, sir, are... You got a lot of that gray health that you don't lose all of as soon as you get parried. Oh, you killed me very quickly. I'm gonna get back to you on that one, buddy. Round two, motherfucker. You ain't gonna do shit. Oh, no, sir, you stop what you're doing. Ow. I see Tentacle Face Man has some rather annoying friends who need to learn how to not interfere with other people's business. Now, come on, Tentacle Man. Slap me, I dare ya. But I need to be safe distance so that other people ain't interfering. Alright then. I deserve that. In Alright. Come on and... Ow. Panic parry and we'll get you nowhere. Round three, boy. Let's see how well you do now that there's a third round involved. And I did the thing too soon. And, oh, that should have been enough to kill you, but it's... Ow. Son of monkey of all of the fathers. Round four. Ready for you this time, son. At least I hope I am. And there you go. Now, take some of that, mister. I done parried at the wrong fucking time. I am stuck here. That's very unfortunate. All right. 
managed to recover from that. Now, let's get... Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Grab the ledge, dumbass! There. Now. Finally. Got ya. So, we are good. You ain't doing whatever the hell it is you were about to do. And I'll just be taking this. And now it's your turn to get all fucked up. And we are good. Now, I see some blub mebble over here. Excellent. May just be a little shard, but I'm pretty sure the finger blade that I have as a secondary weapon still needs them regular ass shards. Kinda hard to tell where I haven't haven't been since I haven't attuned any beacons in this area yet. I like to know where I be going, where I haven't been. All oh, that happy stuff and snaky neck man is in here, isn't he? Oh, yes, there he goes. Do it as snaky neck weird bullshit. Now you die. You die like good boy, and good boys die good. So, where in the fuck am I supposed to go now? Hmm, perhaps down here? Perhaps I take a little fall damage? But then I already came from over here. So what the hell am I even doing? And that's the hurdy hole full of pain and or suffering. And now, I are confused. Unless this is like the back end, like the way you come out after going through this place that I happened to stumble upon because there's that wall that can only be opened from the inside. Well, I guess that's all there is to that area, is just that place that I can explore for the moment, but maybe I can yank you this way, and that doesn't really help me at all now, does it? Hmm. Or I could just go further down. That too is an option, and you are a talkie man. The child stirs, even in its state of unbeing, it instinctively seeks to become. It has found great hosts and coalesces within. As if, as it's scattered through, as its scattered thoughts come together, they grow clearer. Destroy the hosts, Aklan, and disperse the child once more. Okay. So you want me to kill a child? Is this that child you want me to kill? Because I can just dash on through it. Though I probably should kill this thing because gameplay reasons and it might have something that I want. Giant of eyes. I don't like the look of that green pulse that you just shot out. Oh, okay. Ground spikes. That's a thing. Now. Yep, okay. Oh, your green pulses, they hurt now. Because that first one, you just smashed me with your face. Round two, big man. And you're aggroed right off the bat this time. Ow. You're screaming and it hurts. Oh, he punches. Ha. I do, I've done blocked yo punch, mister. So, all right, face pounding. And, all right, we're good if we don't do anything stupid. I'm guessing your face is your weak spot. All right, he's a charging. Oh, and he's yelling. 
because that yell fucking hurts. Fall down, I'll chop your face wide open. You're about to yell again, ain't ya? Yep. You're screaming and yelling and it will get you nowhere. Alright. Now, whoopsie doo, I'm over here. So come on. Come on, it's lame. And welcome to the jam. You're falling down, I'm chopping your face open. There you go, son. Now, we're talking. We're a cooking with power. And by power, I mean propane, because anything else would be an affront to our lord. Now, He's a face pounding and uh, he sends out shockwaves when he does that. Noted. I feel like that might actually be the easy first phase of a bigger two phase boss. Forgot that he likes to scream after charging. Seems like something I should have remembered, but I didn't because apparently it didn't whoop my ass hard enough the first time. I came really, really, really close to beating him on the second or third try, whichever try it was. But now I'm just shitting all over myself like a big, stupid, smelly baby. Oh, come on now. Give me something to shit myself over so that I can take pride in my soiling of my trousers. Come on, mister. Yeah, screamy, screamy. Now, head smash, face get sliced, and he, oh, he belly flopped. Well, come on, turn your ass around. Ah, oh, he punches. He punches, but his punches will not save him. No, sir. They will not. And... Alright. I'll just smash my body over here. Okay. Now fall down. And... Yeah. Face. Go. Smash. And... There you go. But, like I said, this feels too easy. It feels like the beginning of something more sinister. Uh, yep. He has a sword now. That's great. Fantastic, even. And... Okay. No. That is going to be problematic. So I'll jump up and smack you in the face a couple of times. Oof. Okay. Alright. Very close to death. And don't have any Healy juice. But there, I knocked you down. And... Oh, you're about to... You're about to eat one of those, is what you're going to do. Alright. That beam closed in faster than he did. Come on, baby. I want to take you down real good. And, alright. I guess I done messed that up. There you go. Now we're talking. I'm going to break my old body so I can get my health back up. Okay, I don't want to get caught up in that. Yep, there we are. Yep. Alright, fall down for me, mister. There you go. I was early on that parry. Hey, 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 hey. Beams of death and dismemberment shooting out of the ground. That's some uh, quality bullshit you're throwing my way, Mr. Giant O Eyes. And my lack of health and stamina is going to be a problem. But I can get some decent heals going. 
if I just... There you go. Now, let's not get hit by the big old sweepy beam. There you go. Since I've done parried that, I can get some heals by hitting you. There you go. Parry, parry, motherfucker. And, all right. Now we're talking. I'm still getting hit by things I should get hit by. And these things hurt like hell. But, yep. Just. I'm out of stamina. Alright, I got you. Don't get hit by that before he dies. Okay. Beams. What is happening? Are you dead or what? I would really like for you to hurry up and die. This is making me very uncomfortable. Okay, good. He exploded. Had me a little worried there. Thought there was a little more to that fight. I just had to dodge his last bit of desperate attacks. But now I've eaten you, and I feel good. So now, surrogate warp. Hell yeah. I definitely did not find that in my own playthrough. Because I would distinctly remember being able to travel between checkpoints. Which is a thing I didn't get until after beating the game, so this must be an optional area. But we have defeated the Giant of Eyes, and with that... I'm all out of time for this episode, so thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I will see you again.